So this is what we call one of our offering altars. So the idea is that you, you find these around the world and you make offerings to it. So it'll take like animal parts and stuff that you can find throughout the world. Here, what you're seeing though, is sort of like a, a fancy version of it where as you do your offering, you get interrupted by some, some kids that basically come and steal your stuff. So it was just a way for us to sort of showcase that, like the some systems and the activities in the world can sort of play in with some, some quests and some little events. So it's our way to sort of dress up these moments and make it all fit inside the, the whole experience. Yeah, this seemed like a really sort of unexpected turn for what I thought was going to be kind of a simple interaction. Yeah, and it's really what we were trying to do with these events is to is to give another dimension to Eivor, other than just, you know, the pure rar Viking or the politician. Because you can imagine at some point that will we'll grow old if you're always telling that, that, that version of the character. So it, it lets us really go into the depth of who is Eivor, uh, what motivates her, how she can interact with the world outside of uh, warfare and politics. Your stealth needs work. Oh, we were close. And it also showcases like a, a different facet of the world at the same time. It's not only Eivor. So it, it just winds the breadth of the stories that we can tell. So who exactly are these two children? These are kids of East Anglia. They are going through tough times um, with whatever Rude has been doing to the territory. And so they're just here trying to survive and, and basically exploit the people that are there to make offerings. It was kind of nice to see that Eivor wasn't really necessarily upset at them for stealing. And, you know, after you talk to them, you have the choice of helping them. You can, you know, give them food, give them some money, um, or, you know, maybe just say, hey, good luck on your way. Yeah, and then this is something we also wanted to do a lot. Like, so here we're doing an event, we do it in quests as well, but we want to do, we want to give a lot of this agency into players' hands so that they can sort of shape Eivor a little bit, um, uh, who she is, so it represents them a little bit more, and they can role play that a little bit uh, better. And again, it just gives her like a little bit more humanity in these in these moments. Provide for small walkers. Here, large walker. A necklace? Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers. <laughs> 